This one is my favorite. This is nothing short of awesome, okay? So right here, Miss Nancy has a long plank of wood. She's already painted it with white chalk paint. You can, she let it dry. Now she's adding some more white chalk paint and then she's going to proceed to let that dry as well. Once she has given it a smooth, even coat of white chalk paint, she is going to come in and antique it a little bit with her antiquing wax. And I do want to make note of this, she is dry brushing. But if you ever do add too much antiquing wax and or stain and you think to yourself, oh no, this is too dark, I'm not really liking this color, the contrast, well you can easily take a wet wipe, take a cloth and wipe it, just wipe it and there you go. Because I remember I, I, I think I was staining a bench, so it was a bench that my dad had made for Miss Nancy, my mom. He just, it was an awesome bench, by the way. It was so awesome. And it was, it had all these little compartments inside of it where she could put all of her crafting supplies. So she could sit <laughs> on it and then open it up and take out all of her crafting supplies. But he made this bench for her. So I was helping her uh, stain it, okay? And I added way too much. It was just so dark. And that's why Miss Nancy is using this dry brushing technique where you dab a little bit of stain on and then just kind of dry brush across. You don't want to just full on dip your brush in there and make it completely dark unless you want it to be completely dark. Well then that is your choice. But I remember I did that and all I had to do was wipe. To had my, thank goodness I had my cloth right there. My little wipe, wiped it off and then started to, well, complete the staining. Okay, you all, this little reindeer head is from Christmas Crafts in Hobby Lobby. I was about to say it was from Dollar Tree. I don't know why I was about to say that. It's usually because I'm always saying that, but no, this is from Hobby Lobby. Again, I think it was about $2. I can't even see the price from here <laughs> because it's so small. Um, very affordable price. And she is simply going to paint it over with white chalk paint. Once she does that, she's going to paint the little nose, sanding it a little bit to give it a smooth finish. And now she's simply taking this brown crafting paper and she is going to cut it up into little pieces and decoupage it onto the reindeer head. Now, I love this for two reasons because reindeers are brown. Okay? Well, you know what I mean. Do not look at me like that. I can see you. I can see you. Reindeer, deer, whatever. They're brown. So even though reindeer are fictional and they're not real, during Christmas time they're real. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, she is going to be... I love this because that's their natural fur. Their natural... I was about to say natural skin tone. I can't speak. I cannot speak. But... They're brown and now I love this because it just makes it look very unique but while adding to, well, what they're supposed to actually look like. And it makes, it's a very unique thing. So she added it on the antlers, drawing some eyes. The, the eyelashes, she gave it eyelashes, you all. That's so cute. Adding a little bit of antiquing wax all around which is good because it adds a little bit of texture. It adds some contrast. That little deer was looking pale. So pale. Maybe he needs some hot cocoa. I think he needs some. But I love how she's adding little accents of white around the nose. At She came in with her marker and made an outline uh, around the ears and the face a little bit. So adorable. Now you all, I do want to say...
Now she's adding an outline of black around the antlers. Again, I'm loving the contrast. That is, that's what it's all about. She's adding some contrast, mixing and matching, doing a little bit of shading. And that kind of reminds me of how I saw somebody, um, an artist that was doing a little charcoal sketch and they're shading, adding contrast. And that's kind of what she's doing right here. I love it. Okay, you all, the famous sweater of Miss Nancy's. She's going to simply cut that up and wrap it around the deer's quote unquote neck. And that's it. That's pretty much it. I don't know what happened to the other clip. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but you will see the end product. All she did was basically give the little reindeer scarf. <laughs> 